Okay, we are back. I've got my drink ready. I've got my other drink ready. I still have a bunch of lollipops. <laughs> so let's get this party started. I don't know. So, hot, muggy, sweaty, and uncomfortable. These are exactly the nasty kid. Wait, this is the previous stage. Ah, oh, you idiot. Stupid, stupid, stupid. St this is the correct stage. Wow. Now, this is one Nazi prison. If you can't even survive long enough to make an escape plan, let alone execute it, you will have done much better. No. Why did I say much? There is no much. You will have done better than most convicts within this bad, bad place. Jesse. No, no Jesse. Uh, let's go with... Peen. Should I do it like this? Peen us. Or... Should it be P and then... Like Nuss or or Ness, uh, like the Loch Ness, yeah, penis. This is awesome. Uh, who haven't I been yet? The blonde guy, sure. This is the notorious San Pancho, the roughest, toughest, and downright nastiest prison south of the border. Yeah, so we're in Mexico? The bliss. Or, if this actually takes place in Sweden, where I am, this would be overseas. <laughs> in Denmark. Overseas, I say like it's the fucking Pacific. Well, it is technically a sea, so. Yeah, whatever! The blistering heat and claustrophobic conditions here turns our inmates angry and violent. Even the guards don't enter. Right in jet mode. Chip. Wow, doing that voice makes me throw up. Uh, let's see. This stage is a weird one. Because the guards are only inside the walls sometimes. Like, for instance, during roll call, and of course, the regular breakfast and, and workouts and stuff like that. But, but during free periods and stuff, they, they, they all just fuck off. Like those two guards right there. They just patrol around the perimeter. And so we're free to do whatever we, whatever we want in here. So breakfast. Let's attend it. Real quick. See what this guy wants. At the next breakfast. Okay. That's that's awesome. Thank you. Now you can chase me if you want. I'll probably outrun you. Or not. Wow, this guy is fast. Both guys are fast. Oh, fuck it. Oh, I got a job this time around too, of course. Where am I going? The... Oh, it's a boring one. Yeah, and it looks like I need 12 to finish this one as well. Just like every other gardening position. Let's just see how much money this gets me. 40. No, 10, of course. Because 30 was the beat up the guard. No, uh, the rook is at the breakfast. So reading is what you do this time. How much stamina? 13. Shit. That's going to take a while. Uh, forget the gardening position. Where is the job guy? That, this is the solitary cell. There's no camera in this one. Maybe I can have some privacy in this place. Where's the job guy? There you are. What kind of jobs do we have? Gardening? Fuck that. Unloading. 
outfit making, librarian and kitchen. Let's see where all these places are. <clears throat> That's the unlo unloading uh, to the left. This is the outfit making. There's a hallway with a ladder right behind it. And it looks like the outfit making place is the only way to get there. What else? We have the kitchen that has a camera in it. Okay. And since the part behind the wall is black, I can't go through it with a pickaxe. Uh, punching bag and well it doesn't say what the other one is how do we do this oh it's this stupid thing now the red bar gets smaller for every point you actually manage to get which requires five hits the weird thing is that you're not actually supposed to hit the edge of the red bar as it gets smaller. This is a super weird one. So check this out. Well, whatever. Let's see. What's this one? Oh, it's the same thing. But you only need, only need three hits. You see that? That one hit I had there? Why am I picking him up? Um, that one hit was... Uh, not on... The, at the edge of, of the red bar. You are too fatigued. Okay, bite me. Yeah, I, I really hate this one. It doesn't make any sense at all. You're not supposed to hit the, hit the edges of the red bars. I can use this as a weapon. Uh, I never checked how much stamina that took, but who cares? Oh, there's still food here. Yeah, look at that. Let's see how much it is this time. Looks like two. This one takes away one point of stamina. Now, does anybody need a fit? Oh, yeah, look at that. Um, hey, talk to him. Damn it. Next breakfast, file, next morning roll call, I've got three favors, another job position, forget that, I'm thinking I might want the kitchen position or outfit making, the outfit making position is way faster. I could of course dig from this solitary cell. It doesn't look like there are any uh, detectors here. So maybe I can beat up a guard and steal his baton. Because that's a super strong weapon. So yeah, I might actually do that. What's this place? Oh, that's it's my place. Forget that. Uh, there is no workshop, so if I want to brace tunnels, I'm actually going to have to be pretty lucky with finding lumber. That sucks. Well, whatever. Maybe I don't even need to dig a tunnel. What do you want? I give Lewis my cup, Daniel... <coughs> And you were the one with... My, okay, so all three favors include doing something to another inmate. Um, breakfast, morning, roll call, and dice. Oh yeah, uh, don't need these. Crowbar. Shit, I need that, but I don't have any money for it. Ugh, 
Nailey, that is that a name? Do it to your sh oh, whatever. Showers, that doesn't appear to be a midday roll call in this one, which is awesome. Fight, 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 fight. Oh yeah, uh, beat him up. Sweet, I oh shit. <laughs> well, whatever, I don't need that weapon. So, take his, oh, take the lighter. Might as well take this one as well. Uh, equip this, and was this my no? Damn it! Oh, so there's only one toilet per four inmates. Uh, that is not gonna enable me to hide stuff as easily as in other stages. Okay. So we've seen what a day looks like this time around. Oh, I mean, in, in this stage. Well. Um, I will pause the episode and I will see you guys when my, at least my intelligence is up and maybe, maybe a bit more speed and strength. We'll see. So I will see you guys in a bit. You want to forfeit this? Yes, I do because I can't complete them. I never see any of those guards. So, okay, so his opinion of me just went down because I refused his favor. But I mean, what am I supposed to do? It just takes up room in, in the favor list and I can only have four favors active at the same time. So what I need to do is whenever somebody wants me to beat up a guard, I have to remember what guard he wants me to beat up and see if that guard ever comes in here anyway what i will do is i've had these things here for a good while and it doesn't look like a guard ever comes in here <laughs> look at that the warden just came all the way up here and then turned around but <laughs> so yeah i'm guessing i can just dig from here beyond the fences here's the deal there are mines outside the fences and you don't know where they are it's you know it's it's pure luck to 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 go from the fence all the way to the edge of the stage without stepping on a landmine if you step on a landmine you're out and so you're back in the infirmary and all your stuff are gone if you dig you can see where all the mines are now you can actually accidentally hit a mine. Let's see, we have Eden, we have Bruce. We have a guy named Stellan. To road and Stellan. Okay, so I gotta remember these four. You can actually accidentally hit a, a mine even, even through a wall. Let's say you dig a hole and you can see that there is a mine in the wall next to you in the tunnel. If you get too close, you set it off, and so you end up in the, in the infirmary, of course. But at least you can see them when you dig. You don't like me, huh? But you've got a crowbar, and I need that. So I am going to give you something that will raise your opinion of me. What do I have? I've got this one. I can give you that. Where'd you go? There you are. Give him this that should do it yeah okay sweet buy it thank you i've got one sturdy pickaxe i've got a flimsy one as well uh two crowbars so that means i have the potential to craft four sturdy pickaxes because i've i do have a lot of lumber but nobody ever has any duct tape i really need duct tape why doesn't anybody ever have any in this stage like I've found maybe four of them total uh, and there's another roll call yay sweet okay I can make one more pickaxe a lightweight one okay so let's just attend this one to road Eden Bruce and 
Tillin is not here right now. Please leave a message after this. <laughs> uh, I've got another cool bar here. Don't even remember this one. Uh, after lights out. I don't, so I don't even think I need to make a bed dummy. But I will anyway. Just in case. They're so easy to craft anyway. So why not? So yeah, in the next episode, I'll have a pretty big tunnel ready. What I'm going to do is dig a tunnel all the way up till I can't dig anymore. Which means I'm going to require a lot of pickaxes. But whatever. Next time, I'll try to escape from this prison. And I will see you guys then. <laughs>
because <clears throat> I still have four, five, and six left. Or maybe I'll just play another game completely. Who knows? Who cares? Hopefully, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <coughs> Sando. Ah. Oops. Oh, idiot! Oh. Fuck. That why that. Fine, I'm off to kiss her. Meow. His name is Misfit. What can you do? It's going to go out now. Huh? Who's going to do that? Hey, Shit! Fan! Helvete! Jag har ju bra stats, så varför får jag stryk? Men helvete, så jävla k***. Jag måste komma på vad jag ska säga mer.